Hey Alexa. Ah, uh, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ito pa yung link ko dahil si Freddy. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding. Ah, uh, Alexa, exit. Okay. Pasensya na kayo, no? Sa kay Alexa, yung aking artificial intelligence, okay? Now, uh, ang ating Pangulo ay nasa Melbourne, Australia ngayon. Oh, before I forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, subscribe to my channel now. Just press the red button below and you will be connected uh, to my channel. And also, uh, it is all free, guys. All free. And, and um, at the same time, share this video to others. Most especially there in the Philippines, yung mga misguided Filipinos there, as well as here, here in America and in Canada. And also, right now, in Australia. Uh, in Australia. Okay? And... Uh, And also give me a big like. Ito po. Ang ating Pangulo ay nasa Melbourne, Australia. The second consecutive na it was last week only na inibitahan siya ng Prime Minister ng Australia to to address the Parliament of Australia. And it is a very successful one. Now, the second time that uh, President Marcos Bongbong Jr. are in uh, are now is now in uh, Melbourne, Australia to now speaking Uh, uh, right now, or or maybe up, after a few hours, at the Philippine Business Forum in Melbourne, Australia. Ayan. Bakit pa? Okay, pakinggan muna natin to. Ating, ating Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. Wurundjeri people of the Kuli Nation, traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we, have our, on which we are having our meeting today. I, res I pay my respects to their elders past and present and extend their respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders peoples today. With us here today are uh, the House Speaker, uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Philippines, Speaker... Nakita nyo, ang ating Pangulo ay katakot-takot ang uh, speaking engagement dyan sa Australia. Una, nag-address siya ng, ng Australian Parliament And this time in Melbourne, that is in Canberra, right now in Melbourne, Australia. He is a very good and qualified to be the exec chief executive, contrary to those people there in the Philippines who are against against the administration of President Bongbong Marcos Sr. because of greed. Uh, greed and ingit. We call it ingit, okay? Uh, hindi maganda sa tao yung ingit. Karamihan dyan sa mga Pilipino ay ingitero, di ba? Tama ba ako? When somebody is growing, they don't want to cooperate. You know, guys, sa isang pamilya, pag hindi kayo nagtutulungan, hindi kayo nagko-cooperative, hindi kayo nag-uusap, at hindi kayo sinasabi, ano ba ang plano ng pamilya? Are we going up or are we going down? You should you take this up in a, in a, in a plan meeting. Ganyan po ginagawa nung ako ay nasa PLDT at maging dito sa Amerika, Nagtabaho ko sa hospital at nursing home and, we, and regular, we called to a meeting. Meeting at the same time. In PLDT where I worked before, it almost take us uh, almost the whole day just to finish this agenda. Okay? And uh, also, I uh, attended also some, uh, only very, very brief stockholders meeting in PLDT as well as stockholders meeting there in BPI or Bank of the Philippine Islands that was long time ago. And I learned from, from attending those uh, stockholders meeting, although I'm not because I'm working with them. I sinishare ko lang sa inyo ang importance ng meeting. In order for us to grow, we need to cooperate. We need to speak up. We need to organize. Uh, we need to have a plan. Uh, by this time, we, we, should be, we should be at here po, at this point. And next year, we'll be on the other end. And that is how we grow. If we don't meet those goals, We need to sit again and take up what are those things to be corrected. Ganyan po. At ganyan ang ginagawa ng ating Pangulo. Na kinokontra nyo. No? So, hindi maganda ang ginagawa ng iba dyan. Lalo na mga, itong si Maharlika na nandito sa Amerika, ay, ay ano yung frustrated din yan? Sino ba yung mga frustrated? Yung mga Duterte. Na mga Duterte na wala ng pag-asa. Wala ng pag-asa yan, mga yan. Ah, ibang mga senador dyan na ayaw nilang mag-grow. Alam nyo, importante ho yung, ano eh, yung, yung uh, ating constitution ay mabago kasi dito sa Amerika, binago what, that was only in 
Yan, yan, ang, yan ang na-research ko. And we need to also upgrade our constitution there. Huwag kayong matakot. Huwag kayong maniwala doon sa pangsasabi ng iba na matatanggal daw ang Senado. Ang ano lang ay talagang i i i i allow natin yung mga foreign investors na magkaroon ng ownership. Sinasabi ng isang senador dyan na pwede naman nating i-legislate dyan. Eh. eh bakit hindi nyo ginawa nung una, nung under Duterte administration? Bakit hindi nyo ginawa? Senator, yung author ng uh, 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 Rice Tarification Law, ano masasabi nyo? Bakit ngayon mo lang inasabi yan? Bakit hindi mo ginawa? At bakit hindi nyo? I-diniscuss yan nung kayo may Senate hearing. Matagal na. Six years nyo. Ginawa yan. Ha? Dapat ginawa. Pero hindi nyo ginawa. Now we see a forest study. The reason why we are having a hard time to grow in economy. Ha? Pukit ba? Dahil ang interest nyo. Dahil kayo ang uh, isa sa pinakamayaman dyan sa Pilipinas. Ayaw nyo masira ang yung o oh, makapag uh, ano kayo na there will be a foreign investors that will compete with your with your company or with your interests. Am I right? Okay. Now, ang ginawa ng ating presidente ay nakapagpulong sa Philippine Business Forum at importante ko yan. Ito ay mga group of Filipino entrepreneurs dyan sa Melbourne, Australia and some parts of Australia that contribute to trillion Australian dollars to its economy. Nakita nyo, ang mga Pilipino sa Australia ay, ay umaasenso, umaangat. Maging dito sa Amerika ay umaangat. Kasi we are open-minded. Hindi katulad dyan sa Pilipinas, ang kanilang sinasabi, at kayo, mga Pilipino, ordinary Pilipino, ay nilalason to mga Pilipino ito na meron ng mayayaman, mayayaman na yan. They don't want to share Ha? to share to you guys na magising kayo sa katotohanan. Hindi nyo ba gusto na dito sa Amerika, when we are sick, the hospital will give you uh, treatment immediately. Not asking, or you have to, to, fi, to, fi, to, to pay money or advance for the services that are going to give it to you. Dito, hindi. Bawal yan. It is against the law. And yung, yung law na yun ay sinusunod dito sa Amerika. Okay. Kaya parang it looks like uh, the Philippines is not is a, is in total failure of uh, being a self uh, self uh, governing a uh, country. Huh? It looks like, huh? And that's the reason why si President Bongbong Marcos Jr. I do mitigate sa America because the American the American uh, government is very popular when it comes to uh, good governance and good organization na hindi niya, hindi, wala, wala dyan. At dito, ang mga tao ay always patriotic. Ha? Ayan. Patriotic ba kayo dyan? O patriotic kayo pag ang nakikita nyo ay para sa self-interest self nyo? Am I right? And not for the, uh, for the good, for the, for the, for the well-being of everyone there in the Philippines. Makikita, makikita ko sa inyo. Kung ikaw ay isang senador, ha? May, kakapartner ka na Chinese from mainland. Ayaw mo. Siyempre, pagtatanggol mo yan. Ayaw mo masira ang iyong negosyo. What if ikaw ay napapaligiran dahil sa iyong negosyo lumalakas, napapaligiran ka naman ng mga mahihirap na tao. Ang sabi nga nila, ang isang, ang isang good egg, ihalo mo sa maraming bulok, mabubulok. O, oh, ang mga good egg, lagyan mo ng isang, isang itlog na bulok, mabubulok lahat. Ako ba'y tama? Oh. Hindi nyo tinutulungan ng mga tao dyan, umasenso dyan sa Pilipinas, lalo na yung mga nasa poder. Dito hindi pwede yun. The government will help you to, to, to grow up. Because if you grow up, you're going to pay taxes. Ayaw ng gobyerno na umaasa sa gobyerno. Tutulungan ka nila o oh, bibigyan ka ng tulong pero mag-aaral ka kailangan 100% ang mga, ang mga tao rito ay nag-aaral. Kung hindi mas sila makatapos ng kurso, ay tuloy-tuloy ang kalang pag-aaral. Okay? Ngayon, ang mga grupo ng mga Pilipino dyan sa Australia, uh, as of June 30, 2023, there were 2,589,873 active businesses in Australia. Ano ito ha? Pilipino to. At, at they are small and medium enterprises contribute to 4.8 trillion uh, Australian dollars 
of 4.8 uh, trillion US dollars to the Australian economy each year and create nearly 66% of new jobs in Australia. Medyo mabigat. Medyo mabigat yan. Kaya kailangan natin mahaluan tayo ng mga foreign investors. Sa education, kailangan ganun din upang tayo umangat. Hindi tayo manatili. Huwag kayo maniniwala sa sinasabi ng DepEd na patriotism and nationalism. Huwag po kayo maniniwala kasi ang DepEd ay under ni BPH ni BP Sara, which is a pro-China. Tama ba? Dapat nga si BP Sara ay mag-resign sa kanyang posisyon because hindi niya, hindi niya sinusunod, hindi niya sinusuportan ang platapon ng, ng gobyerno. At siya ay cabinet, cabinet member. Okay? Yan. As of June 30, 2023, Victoria had, Victoria, ito pa isang state ng Australia, 701 701,061 small businesses. Pilipino ito. Which is 28% of all Australian small business. Napakabigat to, no? Yan ay isang mga data na kailangan natin malaman dyan sa Pilipinas. Hindi ko napakahabain kasi lumalak. Luma, ang ating ang oras ay masyadong mahaba. Ito ay sagot ko kay Maharlika na kasalukoy na ninira sa ating Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr., na tayo ay umunlad sa pamamagitan ng kanyang pag-travel at sa kanyang mga speaking engagement. Wala na ako na dinig na, 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 na tumutulik sa or criticize this style of education that uh, the President learned here from here in America. And both the con uh, Congressman also, Rombaldes, also study here in America. And both all of, most of us who study here in America are moving up or growing up Uh, and, and having a great expertise uh, in management, in whatever learning that we learn from here and experience while here in America. Yan ang kakaiba, na ayaw niyo matanggap, karamihan dyan sa mga Pilipino, ayaw niyo matanggap, na kami mga US Pilipino ay mas mamagaling sa inyo. Because we are here. Experience count most, not education. Okay, after education, you come here and grow more because you are going to work with those people of uh, the highest quality of education and working experience here in America. And that's the reason why America is the top uh, leader in economic, in economy, and as well as military. Important yan, military and economy. And at the same time, education. Okay? So I do hope that we will continue uh, supporting our President Bongbong Marcos Jr. It is a, a continuous effort to make the economy grow. Uh, so that all the people there in the Philippines will uh, share all this blessing that we have there in the Philippines through our Medicare, number one, education, number two, uh, and, other, and other, even the food production, uh, the food security there in the Philippines. Okay? At siyempre, tataas yung bilihin. Huwag niyo kayong umasa na bababayan. Tamataas yan as the economy grows. Ay, kayong mga businessman dyan sa Pilipinas, magsalita din kayo. If you counter me, Here in this, in this, in my blood, you speak for yourself. Why you don't want to give a uh, uh, raise to your workers? Don't you know that when you give a raise to your workers, your company will also grow because people will grow, people will buy, people will take advantage of what you are uh, giving benefits to your employees. Okay, so here may counter yan, may counter yan. At ang mga tao, pag hindi bumibili, ang economy ay babagsak. Am I right? May, may sari-sari store ka, nagtayo ka, ubod ng laki. Eh, ang nakapaligid sa iyo ay mga walang trabaho. O may man trabaho ay maliit ang sweldo. Sino kaya ang bibili sa iyo? Malulugi ka. Magsasara ka. At yan ay parang domino effect. Okay? Okay, this is your host. In God we trust, never hold your peace.